All right, welcome to another video here. I just have, so I'm right in the midst. You'll be able to see uh, I'm, I'm completely rebuilding my studio. Probably at a terrible time as well. I've been talking a lot lately about uh, the Distings, how much I love the Distings, and these wonderful screens up here um, that I had created by Motley Modular. Now, normally I have these ones in. I just tried installing the first one here. I have got three versions of these wonderful uh, Motley Modular screens here that I wanna show and talk about. What's neat is I have the evolution here of all the uh, different Motley Modular screens right from the very beginning. I've told the story I posted on Facebook and asked someone to, I purchased the wrong, I don't know, I forget what it was actually. This is the original one. I purchased either the wrong front or the wrong backing part here. And, uh, and so I couldn't make them. So uh, Steve began return my message he said that he orders from thonk all the time which is abroad it's not in canada so we got to pay import taxes which is why i didn't want to order again i wanted someone who knew what they were doing to do it and i'm trying to take this apart now there is i think it was this piece anyway was what i didn't get correct uh and it and then i would have had to go and order this piece uh, but Steve Begin created this one. This was the initial thing. This is exactly how expert sleepers, the creators of the distings, how they kind of envisioned it. So you can see there's, maybe you can see there, there's a ton of little pins here and, and this kind of thing here. And what we need to do is convert that into this pin out here, which... Let me just attach that in there. Those connect. That pin out there, you would connect with a bunch of DuPont wires. You would follow the schematics online to hook it up to the back of your disting so that you would have an extra screen. And that's what I've got set up right here. It took me a little bit. You gotta, it's not a very simple process. I mean, I've got the printout. This is the uh, Motley Modular printout that comes with the uh, one of the 1U displays. I mean, you gotta find the right thing here and plug it into the right thing here. And so there's wires kind of crossing. I think the most important one is up here. This one's our power. Um, so anyway, what's super cool is I just ordered these ones and you'll notice right away, this is what I was talking about. Look at that difference. Now what's kind of annoying about these is it's got this separation. New Motley Modular, all in one with the pinout right on the back there. Absolutely phenomenal. So anyways, what's super cool is that, so in this new version here, it still has kind of like, if you can see on there, I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know if it's gonna fix it. You can see the labeled pinout and that's how you attach it to the disting. Well, same thing on the brand new ones here if it can adjust. It's got the labeled pinout, and so you still gotta go and get the diagram. You can get this right from the Disting EX, um, you can get this right from the Disting EX manual, or what's nice is Steve, uh, again, kind of put it right in how to attach it right on here, which is awesome. He's also got his support email on there. So here is, here is the final evolution of this. Now what's super cool about this is on this one here, you still need the pinout instructions. You need to look it up, 
connect each of the DuPont wires to the right area on the uh, disting. This is the newest idea, and this is absolutely fantastic. I can't believe how cool this is. Um, this is this is super cool. Don't get me wrong. This is super cool. It feels like you are putting together some crazy thing. Oz is super genius in, in, uh, in all this as well. This one, this one makes it so easy. If you were just into getting, getting up and getting going and playing music, this is what you want to get right here. Because this one is fantastic. What you'll notice is over here, it's just got a connector. And you can only connect it one way. And then over here, it says even what side the red stripe should be on, just in case. And over here, there's another one that you can only connect one way. And it says what, how to uh, connect those as well. So, um, I've got an example of one right here. This is one of my ones. See, I don't know what I, I, I was thinking. I would, uh, whoops. I was thinking that I would give the school my ones that I already have set up because all the MIDI stuff is already set up in them and they work perfectly great and so that would be easy to do. What's kind of annoying and the reason why I didn't like these at the beginning, although it'll be easier now with the nice screen, is that you got to go through a whole ton of settings to get these to do what you want to do to start and I'm hoping that I can set it up the same. But anyways, here is what I'm talking about. This screen right here, this is the back of the screen, comes with this wire and it says, have the red one here, connect it to there. So the power is automatically set up in the right spot. Connect this here and connect it to the spot on your disting. And then there you go. Now I haven't plugged this in yet to see how it would work, but it should just work. You know what I mean? It should just be amazing. So, those are people out there. If you've got your distings, I would jump onto Cicada. Right now, I ordered this one from Cicada. Right, This is the one with the pin out. Right now, these are the ones that are going out from Cicada. Uh, this one, I don't know if it is just being um, kind of like... Um, a, a production piece like if it is just the idea piece of it but that is so easy connect connect and there you're good to go now I'm wondering too I've ordered some uh, dual display holders but I wonder maybe I could even just put two in here but then I've got a hole in the middle anyway I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do as I'm reworking everything here Anyway, I just wanted to show off these brand new, super fancy, different types. Started out with something like this. I'm going to keep these as backups. Moved on to something like this. Absolutely fantastic. And then into something crazy like that. All so that you can see super good what you're doing when you're messing with these dials. Changing stuff. You can look up there instead of somehow see through your hand. 